Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Hello, this is Corpus Gaming, and welcome to another edition of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto V. Alright, we have some missions to do, and some side missions to accomplish. And we will start off this segment with a side mission. Message for me, get off your fat ass. See, this uh, exercise stuff's about as relaxing for you as it is for my wife. No, I don't want to sleep with you, and no, I don't care that I'm 39 and single. It doesn't worry me a bit. Easy. I'm not stressed out at all. Now go fuck yourself. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Just fuck you. All of you. I'm on a run. <laughs> You seem a little upset. I could still run you into the fucking ground. <laughs> okay. Hey, I played high school football, all right, sweetheart? All state, QB. Whatever. Just don't have a coronary. Let's go! Huh. Whoa! Okay, ma'am, boobs, race you to the beach! I don't know who I'm more embarrassed for. You're not exactly dressed for cardio. It's running! How much gear do you need? This must be so emasculating for you. What? Oh, look who it is! The man who can't stay on the path! Uh, you should really think about behavioral medication. Run on the road! Take that traffic head on! <laughs> Sorry, sweetheart. But the fastest way to point A to B is using a straight line. Excuse me, friend. And avoiding checkpoints as much as you can. This is going to be tough. Oh boy! How? I won. <sighs> Not too shabby, huh? Totally null and void. I'd have annihilated you if you hadn't taken that shortcut. Yeah, whatever gets you through it. Oh, my chest. Fuck me. Screw you! You're, you're lucky out. I'm tapering for a try! Right, I'm back. I've learned how to sprint and how to move. Good to know. Let's do this. Oh, that's bad. So this is 
I remember this place. I can meet with my doctor. Hmm, it's not here. Oh boy, oh! oh. No, no. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Funny shit. There. Come in, Michael. Yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know, shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family. Uh, my son. <laughs> my daughter. My wife, well, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually, it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I, I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it. Doc, I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? Yeah, I mean, I've had good days, Doc, but mostly they've just been really bad days. I've been doing really bad things, you know, hurting people. You're a very sick man, Michael. I'm doing all I can, but... We need more sessions. Silence speaks volumes. No. Beat it. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm not trying to be perfect. Okay. And what about your sexual behavior? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. Ah, not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed, but for some reason I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? Of course. Who exactly you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering, or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. Half the time, my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Damn it, that's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure you are, but that's really all we have time for. What? Screw you. See you next time. Okay.
Screw you. It's for therapy. He won't mind. Nice car he has. Let's see. Where do I want to go? To. There, meet Lester. Let's meet Lester. Oh crap! That's unfortunate. Yeah, blowing up the doors, that is not going to happen. Not with my arsenal. The one that I am currently wielding. That will not happen. I need a bigger, better, stronger arsenal. In order to be able to pull that sort of heist off. Don't call the police. Thank you, Lester. What the hell? I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. I guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean... I need something done, you need to know something, so... Why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Forced in Lesson the game. About what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? 
Yes, that fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. The hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45 year old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back on social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll, I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> Hopefully my car is still here. It is.